go. Okay, 1.8 meters. <laughs> Here we go. Just watch the trees, guys. Keep away from trees and you'll be okay. Power through the main shirt. Big waves there, eh? <laughs> the first big drop looked a bit big, but all the rest of the waves were just as big. I got airborne to the point where the back of your boat hits the wave before, and the front of your boat's in the wave next. So you're being pushed one way and pulled the other. And uh, I think the best scenario to do there is sit on your paddle as wide as possible because a lot of people say, oh, power through, paddle through, dig through the wave, but then you could dig, dig to air the other side. So I find keeping a paddle in the water is best. The power of the water will pull you through today. There's no, no big compression waves that'll suck you in, you know. All right. Okay, this is the Fortress Rapids. This is called the Fortress. It's just above Championships. Fortress, it'll be washed out straight through the middle. You'll see the, there's usually some rocks to avoid, but today they're all going to be out. So we're just going to go straight through and then we'll be lining up for, for Champs straight away. I'm going to go straight into Champs. Sorry? 
Oh yes, yes, we're going to go left to the rocks out of the water. But, but you'll find there'll be lots of room. The river will go off to the left, so we're going to head off to the left of that tree downstream. And then I'm going to take that line through chance that I was talking about, left to the main chute. <coughs> okay, yep, yep, yep. to the tree but you can go left of it if you like you'll go you'll get pushed right okay champs is open pick your line but I'm gonna go where I said well I'm gonna go middle you go left if you like yeah it'll be perfectly safe yeah I'll go left, I'll go left, follow me, follow me. Okay. You're fine, there's no waves. There's some big stuff there. <laughs> yeah. That bottom drop was the biggest of the lot. <laughs> yeah, the, well the top part is, yeah. The bottom part's usually nothing. <laughs> usually these waves are not there. But they were the biggest today. That's the biggest waves I've seen in a single. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chance is actually the bit before the left turn. Well, after the left turn, it's supposed to be over. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Those, th yeah. Well, I, I even went further left than I usually do. Like that, that was even for, like, for me, that was not... That's, yeah, 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 we went over the trees. <laughs> Where those big waves were on the right, that's basically the chance, you know, as you come down. <sighs> so now we've got about two, two long pulls and then SIDS. came through Sid's last last uh, last Thursday I didn't get a wave over the top of the boat because uh, I managed to miss all of that stuff somehow uh, similar to, to the main shoot today I was further to the right but a little bit 
but then those secondary waves after you've turned left I was on the left hand side of them so I came down sort of where you did but then those trees that, that you went to the left of uh, here, here, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know where you turned over the second time where those yeah. trees were? I was to the right there. So I was the left hand side, basically I was the left hand side of the main right hand flow yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Right on the lip. That's the rock, I know. That's the I know, I know. That rock I think is usually the riverbank. Okay. That's usually the edge of the river. And the river's all to the right of that rock usually. But today, yeah. Today you can go to the left, which is the deceiving thing that you can. As I was saying at the top, you can go far left, but you shouldn't because not much water is going there. So at some point it's going to be rocky and wrong and bad. So you want to go obviously an easy part, but still where there's a lot of water going. <laughs> yeah, no, that's okay. It's, uh, it's always exciting the first few times uh, seeing it. Oh, this is a no-name rapid that really should have a name because at some water levels it gets quite big. I mean, it's a nothing today, but it's still, it's still worthy of a name. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to take left-hand channel the whole way down. Yeah, unnamed rapids have claimed more, hey. <laughs> These eddies like to send my boat going every direction. Oh. Just give up and let it let it push you across one side and then the other side. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. Is this? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the top of Pool of Sids, is it? If um yeah, if we're just above SIDS then we'll be going yeah right over on the right side. We'll take a good look at it first. Because yeah we got another 200 meters past there before there's any rapids, so plenty of time. Looks, looks good, yeah. 
neither here and, and Terry's book doesn't talk about it much either <laughs> I'm sure it's easy I might eddy out and, and look at back upstream but just keep heading down that main channel and, and you'll get to the bottom of SIDS there's no other channels to take for us I won't there's an island on our left, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you wanna... Wait, we won't be touching that, we'll be seeing it on our left though. Do you guys want, you wanna... Yep, you wanna go, you wanna go down front? No, no. Just hit, hug the big water, hit the big water, there's a, there's a drop halfway down. Stay away from the trees. Uh, I think you I think there'll be trees on our right, but... Just follow the middle of the main water and you'll be okay. It's, it's, it's very wide apparently. <sighs> I just don't want to slow you up so you can rip through now. Left of those trees, yeah, left of those trees. Alrighty. Down here, down here. Yep, straight here, 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 here. Left, left, left. Yep, you're good, you're good. That was exciting. <laughs> Jeez, didn't expect those trees to be in the middle of the flow. I'd s someone told me you got to try and miss those trees, and I thought they meant the ones at the top. I didn't think they meant that one right before the water pouring over it. That was a bit scary, but it could stay well away, I think, so it was a bit safer than... Same, yeah, yeah, I followed you. I think that was definitely the right way. 
that one at the bottom there that you went left of, I nosed in left and then got eddied out. Wow. So I ended up uh, upstream. But I still I still went down there again and I think it was the right way. Um, but again, plenty of room. So even with a tree in the middle of the river, you, you know, you had 50 meters either side of it. And uh, you wouldn't have been kind of in trouble. So chicken shoot works. <laughs> And did you see the, the branch in the main shoot at the bottom? Ah, oh, it was it was in the water. So yeah, yeah. You do actually want to drag to the right somewhere. I got caught on the left side of the river here. So pick a channel and get to the right or get through basically. I'll pick. I'll get here. I got stuck in those trees on the left last week <laughs> and made it too late. River was that? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know how you can't roll in that shit, but how you don't roll. Is that too dangerous? Yeah. at Bells last week, the playboat guys there said, oh, how's your Eskimo rolls? You should be fine if you're a good Eskimo roller. I said, oh, I, I can't roll and I, I wouldn't plan to roll, I'd jump out, you know, I'd, I'd pop out and swim down. And he says, oh, well you better not paddle Bells then. <laughs> he thought, oh I could, I just don't want to. <laughs> I, I don't want to ever get into a situation where I need to go upside down, but obviously We've we've had I've had I've had a few courses, a few lessons, and then in 2010, uh, five of us all had these boats, and the other guys were all learning to roll. And the thing is, the one guy who learnt to roll was the guy who holds the record for the longest ever Avon. And he, the, I just saw him go into situations where because he knew how to roll, he didn't mind falling in, didn't mind falling over. And so I go into a situation thinking, must not capsize, must not capsize, put in every effort possible to stay up. But he dives into the water at the first opportunity because he knows that he could get up. But a lot of the time, a roll will only work in certain situations. So at the bottom of the washing machine at Emus, you're not going to be able to roll back up. Sorry, you know, you got you got white water and rocks and people and moving current. Yeah, and that's where you need it. That's where you know, like that's where I'll fall in. So I guess it would be a, it would be a skill to have though. Um, <laughs> Yep, yep. It was, wasn't it? 
Yeah. Just going through SIDS back there, I thought, yeah, that's the biggest foam I've seen for a while, but nothing on 208. When we were training for 08, I got an entire lung full, I breathed it in, and then I breathed it out, like a, a blue smoke outwards, a blue foam outwards. Yeah, just coming up. Um, this is Wayunga, where we put in at Wayunga. Look at that, the tables. The tables went under earlier. Jeez. So this is Boongarup or top pool or long pool. And the uh, slalom poles are just coming up now. So if you do see wires across the river at, at a bad height, uh, I don't really know what to do, but uh, just yell out maybe. <laughs> we should have a bit. We should have a bit of time to uh, to decide what to do. I, sh I assume we should get out if they're in the way. <laughs> But in saying that, they've probably taken them across the river if they're a hazard. <laughs> they've, they've taken them off, you know. <laughs> Alright, bit of moving water now. That's the last of the tributaries coming in there. It's Wooraloo Brook. That's what we crossed over on the bridge. All right. Let's follow the big water. We'll be okay. And then we're going to eddy out in the bottom of Wayunga after all of this. On the right side. That's right, it's uh we had a 30 year 30 year high last weekend. Uh, just look out, so about five kilometers maybe. Sid's rapids. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> G'day mate. Yeah. You hey. were at Bell's last week. 
I was, yes, yes. Yeah. It's a bit higher than it's been, hey? It's, oh, yeah. uh, I've never canoed on this meter before, so... Yeah, yeah. It was actually another meter on this, even. You oh, know. I know. I can see when I put this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't underwater. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And then that's, that's, that's the maximum ever recorded up here, I believe. And, uh, another week still yeah. of this, so, you know, make, make use of it. Pity we're all unfit in the wind in the summer. <laughs> To Bells, yeah, yeah. So um, we saw Sids. We did the chicken shoot at Sids, and it's it's fine. Lots of trees in it. I've never, I've never done that bit. Ne ne neither had we. Oh, okay. None of us. So we came down not knowing what to expect, being told my dad did it in 1996, yeah. and that's the last. How far is it down to Bells? Seven kilometres. Uh, today it'll be half an hour or less. You know, we, we're we're going to take an hour from Lookout, which is another five six kilometres up there. So, um, okay. you could easily make it to... Well, I'm wondering if I could tag along with you. Oh, yeah, well, no worries at all. I mean, if, you're, if, you're, if you want to, uh, if you want to go all the way. I don't think we're not in a real big hurry, are we? Nope. Might get another member of the team to come along. <laughs> yeah, you might want to come down to Bells. Uh, I mean, Bells is pretty big, so... I, have you? Oh, yeah, he's got a ride. He, his wife will... Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, obviously you get to Bells, we're probably going to jump out and have a look on the bridge, maybe. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you're welcome to... Oh, no, no, we'll, we'll stop well before it. We'll, we'll, we'll pull out on the right uh, before the thicket. Uh, and then we'll walk down to the footbridge and then we'll go across the footbridge. So... Well... Uh, and I, I was here, I was, it came down, uh, yes, <laughs> no, no, under the bridge. Yeah, yesterday, yesterday I saw there was, there was a fair bit of space. It's, it's just mainly the rock, the rocks are starting to get exposed, which is actually great, because now we know where to go. <laughs> but I, I think it will still be a case of peak anywhere, you know, so um, we'll just have a look here. I think that's uh, one point. Uh, 2.1 meters on the gauge there, yeah. which is higher than what the they predicted is 1.8, <laughs> and it's above two meters. So, uh, <laughs> I, I was thinking two meters is about the cutoff for one person being safe by themselves. I wouldn't paddle the valley by myself at two meters. But uh, whew. yeah, she'll probably get there as you get there. It's about the same, so it's quite good for for her. She won't be waiting. Yeah, she'll park at the top there, yeah, yeah. and you you won't have to you won't be able to. It's about a half a k walk, but uh, yeah, you'll get out the bottom, I assume. So yeah, we'll probably just put in once and get at the bottom there as well. Okay, good. I'm Terry. Roger. Yeah. Roger. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well you'll be in the YouTube video as well. <laughs> yeah, how you going? You'll see it on YouTube. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm a superstar. <laughs> Alrighty. You've obviously been battling the water here, so you know a bit about how strong it is. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. And the anticipation or the uh, expectation is a little bit different to reality, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's, uh... Yeah, I know, I think it's all the same boat.
that's true. Yeah, no, I know. Um, when we get to the big stuff, you guys go in front if you like. Or, uh, or a 50 meter gap, but I mean, I don't know if, if that's uh, feasible. Yeah, no, and the last thing I want to do is stuff up in front of you guys as well. Uh, uh. This must take the first channel on the left here that you can, the first open one, before that tree that's uh, banking up. Yeah. I'll let you go if you like, I'll hang back with Robin. It was Robin, wasn't it? Roger. Roger. Excellent, thanks. <laughs> The river's a lot different to uh, any time I've seen it before. <laughs> Even, even with people, like, I met these guys last weekend, well, I met, met Dean last weekend, yeah. and uh, we said, yeah, we must get down here, you know, as soon as we can. And even then I thought, nah, it's not safe. If I was in a group of experienced guys that have been paddling for years together, yeah. maybe, and like uh, Daryl Long and the top guys at Ascot Kayak Club, they did the valley last week. And even those guys paddled their whitewater boats, they took it easy, they got out at Bells, they got out everywhere and had a look. You know, they, they got out at Bells to check the, the, the headroom and they made it, they were okay. But even then, you know, those guys are the top of the top of the top and they didn't, they didn't have it easy. Yeah, so if you and I had come down last weekend, we would have been uh, having a tough day if it was a success. Oh, and I if it... Had, uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and just on that unexpectedly high day, there were experienced paddlers, etc, etc. But one mistake or one thing went wrong and then it all came apart. Like this, even this tree in front of us here could be a killer. If, if, you, if you had a heart attack or if you banged your head somewhere or if you know, something else went wrong, you could easily get washed into that. And, you know, in another situation that could be a killer, but... Yeah. And we don't experience it that that often, so we don't know what to do. So uh, I'm probably probably strong enough and fit enough and all of that, but we just don't know what to do. So 
you're going to come, come unstuck. So I was thinking the big waves and bells are great fun, but I've actually forgotten how to brace properly, so... Uh, but uh, no, you learn pretty quick after one long paddle in, in, in high water. <laughs> like I think now, after the waves at Lookout and, and SIDS, I think I can, I can go through most waves in this boat now. No, no. Okay. I, I saw bells two weeks ago at 1.75, yeah. but it's more like 1.9 or higher. I mean, that gauge up there said 2.1. Yeah. Um, so the waves at bells are definitely going to be the biggest that we'll see. Yeah. But in saying that, we've decided that the main shoot will actually be, be the goer today. Yeah. So we were going to do the chicken shoot and worry about missing the main waves, but I think the main waves are now safe. They're huge, but they're safe. Yeah. So going down the middle means you just need to hold on, keep control, and you don't need to turn anywhere. Yeah. So if you just yes yeah, keep it keep it steady, keep it straight, then the main central is obviously best. Um, it's that approach wave that's going to get us because there's a pretty big, like 50 meters above the bridge. There's that drop, yeah, yeah. and uh, that's that. That, looks that, looks that. That's right. Now that's a much smaller. Yeah, well, exactly. If you stuff that up, then you're a bit yeah. stuffed, yeah. That wave today is smaller. It'll still whack you on the chest, yeah. but it won't... Um, it's not big enough to, to trap you going backwards to, to you know, uh, uh, recirculate. And, um, and it's more, much smaller than it was last weekend as well. I remember seeing it, uh, seeing it today or yesterday, and it, it's like... It's, it's basically a non... You'll go straight through, you know, you won't have a problem today. <laughs> All right. All right, Terminator Rapids coming up soon. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently Terry's book says it's where fiberglass boats used to get terminated. <laughs> yeah. We used to call it Rockies because it's full of rocks. Um, uh, no, no, this has got the, the left turn at the top. The little, little tree and then the left turn and then you come down sort of through the right it'll be all all covered today um it's it's the last thing before bells um so we basically got this pool another pool uh juk juk yeah 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 we got we got dual carriageway which is a nothing today as well um and then terminator which we'll make a big deal out of it because it's, you still see it from the top but once you get into it you realize that everything's gone and it's just a a bit of water yeah, the trees that you usually have to avoid are what you're going over. <laughs> so, uh, it's just amazing the whole river here can be 50 metres wide, and yet down at Bells, the same amount of water can do what it does there. That's right. Yeah, that's the lookout. So when you see that, you know that you're, in, you're about to hear, hear, see Terminator. So we take a right turn and then left turn at Terminator, and then two pools and we're at Bells. Yeah, yeah, so after the second pool, there's an island in the middle that uh, you can go to the right of today, and we'll go to the right of the island, and then as soon as the island finishes, we can pull out. But we'll still be a good, like, 300 metres, you know, up from... Um, the main shoot because there's that path on the right side actually right here that we can get onto any old time. Bloody eddies. <laughs> well, it's a good and bad thing. Uh, can be a can be a hindrance like trying to go down a pool like now in the middle. <laughs> the SR. SRS's. Yeah. Uh, uh, so there, there's there's SRS your ones 570s, yeah. but I believe there's no size smaller than that made by Spirit. Uh, the, the oh, you mean the fat things, the oh, short oh, fat oh, things. That's a PR. Okay, but no, that's a racing. An RS. Really? That's interesting. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Um, 
How many how many years ago is that? Really? Okay. There's an interesting story around spirit short skis. Now, Dablin Descent has two classes and I, sh I believe it's all across the board that you've got short plastics and long plastics and four and a half meters is the cutoff. This boat is four points. It was over four and a half. Okay, so it's probably 520 then, the shorter version of that. Yep. Now, the bloke who, wa who won short plastics in a short ski for three years straight got, his, got this idea to build a 450 millimeter version of that. So he chopped the rear and shortened it to 4.5 and called it an SRS 450. And he entered the race and told the organizers that there's, an, there's a spirit ski called an SRS 450. It's an official thing, let me in the race. And they said, okay, we'll let you in the race because, because we assume spirit make this boat. Spirit never made an SRS 450. He built an SRS 450 himself. He won, he won the short plastics three years in a row in the one boat. And then they twigged that nobody else has an SRS 450. No one can buy an SRS 450. <laughs> so he has those two boats on display at home and no other SRS 450s exist. <laughs> but this must have been, as you say, a, a, a predecessor to that. Now this is Terminator. So Terminator has two distinct sides, left and right. 99% of the time we go down the right side. Today we're gonna go down the right and it's gonna be 50 meters wide. So you can just pick your channel I'm going to go right in the middle. So if you just follow me, yeah, right side of the river, right in the middle of the channel. You'll see there'll be plenty of room today. I mean, you're welcome to go straight ahead, but there might be a few rocks and drops. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, good, good. Good plan. <laughs> Gonna turn left where those big waves are. Follow the big waves. Good line, good line. It's not exactly all washed out, is it? <laughs> See, this is the interesting thing that those waves were tiny at 1.8. Now at two meters, the rocks obviously all go, trees all go, but the waves increase. <laughs> there's, a, there's a point in the levels where everything's covered and it's easy, and then anything higher than that, everything's covered, but the waves are bigger. <laughs> so, uh... Got a freight train. So we've got two pools now before bells, so we'll uh, just, hang, I guess, get our breath back. Maybe we can paddle down these pools and then jump out and we can wait for Roger down there. We'll wait. Uh, so we'll, we'll put out, we'll walk across the bridge, but I think we'll just go all the way down Bells once. And then, um... Oh, uh, no, I don't think so, no. I think he's come... Yeah, I'll, I'll ask him, but I think he's, he's not really that... Not really that savvy. <laughs> and his wife might be waiting as well, so... Let's get down the bottom there. I'll, I will see, though. So we might, we might want to shoot Bells again, um, but only if... Uh, Oh yeah, no, no, that's, I think we'll decide that the main shoot is, is a good idea today. Uh -huh. But we'll just double check, because uh, I don't want to hit a wave that's, you know, ten times bigger than what I've ever seen. Twice as big as what I've seen is okay, but... <laughs>
that's right, that's right. Okay, we're a bit, yeah, we're, we're at Bells now, we're at the thicket now. So if we basically pick our way, not through that first channel, but through a second channel and just beach it as soon as you can um, through, the, through the gap there, the, the water will slow down as soon as we're out of the channel here. So we'll have plenty of time, but uh, we do want to jump out now. your spot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, geez, everything comes up so much quicker. I was looking for an island. The island's underwater, of course. <laughs> So just paddle upstream out of here as well. So uh, yeah, it all comes a bit quicker than, uh, than normal. I'll give you a pull up there, fun. Sure. Okay. Okay. Oh, no worries. Getting slippery. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. What's that like? 